Hey guys, welcome back to your channel. Welcome back to Canuck Whiskey. And today we brought such a beautiful treat for you guys. We brought Masala Whiskey. It is not released yet. It is on its way, but because of the fortunate position you've put us in, we were able to get exclusive access to this amazing unreleased bottle. On the first take, guys, the whiskey yeah. bottle looks amazing. The yeah. packing is on point. Yeah. I love the colors, how they played with the colors. And you and me are wearing the whiskey colors, actually. We're... It was not planned. It's a coincidence. <laughs> it's a coincidence, but a beautiful one. Yeah. We're wearing all the shades of blue that are represented here. <laughs> this, this is quite a, a genuinely a good moment for us. Yeah. Uh, reviewing a whiskey which is not out yet. Exactly. And uh, thanks to the company owners. To yeah, thanks to the Masala Whiskey team. Masala Whiskey team, guys. Yeah. And uh, without any further ado, let's start let's the review. Guys, this bottle looks amazing and I want yeah. to discuss that Canada is seeing a surge right now with uh, South Asian inspired whiskey brands coming out. Yeah. And I think this is a good addition into the foray. Exactly. This is here. This is exclusive. First time you see it on our channel. Yeah. This has not come out yet. Kunal, can you tell me when it's coming out? It is planned to be released in LCBOs around September, like sometime in fall. So they first showed up on the scene in the Toronto Spirit Festival. So, right. and as soon as I saw it, I heard about it. I reached out to them and you know, they gave us this bottle. Let's do a pour and take it from there. Yeah, so while he's pouring, I'll give you a little bit of history about it. This is a Canadian whiskey. It is a blended whiskey. So it's a blend of rye and corn. So. I spoke to the owners, they mentioned that it's a 50-50 blend, 50% corn, 50% dry. Which is a commonality in yeah. this part of the world. So as we talked about, this is a South Asian inspired uh, whiskey. That what it means for you guys is it is a spiced infused whiskey, as it says right on the label. So it'll have that hint of uh, Indian spices that we've all come to love. I mean, me being South Asian men, <laughs> we are definitely used to it. But I mean, you can go to any place in uh, Canada and you'll you'll be greeted with butter chicken. So those aromas, those spices, those blends, those depth of flavor. Yeah, I'm expecting. I'm I'm quite uh, excited to try this out and see yeah. how. Uh, Many whiskeys use spices as their base and like yeah. they use the essential oils to produce that aroma, the little bit of a burn, a little yeah. bit of a pepperiness. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm quite excited to see what the South Asians can produce here. Exactly. Who are supposed to be the masters of the spices. The connoisseurs of spices. Right? The color right on the point, right here guys. Yeah. A white color as you yeah. know. A light ember, very, very, very light golden. Light. Yeah. Very sticky whiskey for 43% ABV. Very sticky. Seems like it's got long legs. Sticking to the glass really well. So that means it's going to do wonders when we have it in ice or with a little bit of water. So the oils are going to separate. I'm and hoping for a longer finish on this one. I am hoping to. Uh, so, you know, why, why are we hoping? Let's try it and find out. Cheers, guys. Oh. <sighs> Ooh. That dance of uh, really Man, good aroma. This guys. is really nice. The first whiff, the first nose, I can tell right away. It's got cardamom, it's got fennel. Yes. Right away. And those are fennel, such- Fennel is right up front, right Yeah, there. fennel cardamom hits you right on the face. And these are such fragrant spices. These are beautiful, very soft, very mellow, very pleasant. Wait, yeah. This is a complex whiskey, guys, to start with. Uh, yeah. With this kind of a nosing, you know a lot of effort has gone into- uh, Yeah building something like this because it's hard to balance these many. absolutely Get, sourcing quality spices infusing them with uh whiskey while it's being distilled or after it has distilled and then maturing it right so it is a very fine balance you don't want to overpower you don't want to ferment exactly. it too much you don't want to use too many spices because you know as they say they're too gonna many overpower chefs, you yeah ruin the pot and this is the same thing with spices if you add anything and everything that's in your spice cabinet you're gonna destroy a whiskey I am glad that they haven't done that. They've curtailed their excitement yes. because on the nose, it's phenomenal. So far, I'm getting a little bit of cardamom, fennel, a slight umami um, nose as if it's coriander or a little bit of uh, cumin or black cardamom. You know how black cardamom has that little bit of yes, umaminess? Yes. <sighs> that, that sweet hint of that black cardamom yeah. is quite prominent. Fennel right away. Yeah, oh, 100%. That's, there is no doubt about yeah. fennel. And cardamom as well. Cardamom's there for sure. Maybe some like lingering cumin in there. Yeah, might be because it's got that little earthiness. I don't know if it's, um, I get a little bit of star anise as well. 
the sweet tones of the starnies right like when you sniff starnies as a spice itself it has a sweet undertone it is so quite it's really complex, good guys. yeah it's, it's really complex. good like playing with these flavors these are all quite uh uh pungent flavors yeah. if, if you if not done right absolutely so, so far on the nose it's a very good uh, they're very dialed in those flavors are working well together they're very dialed in i'm excited let's have a taste oh yeah oh it's it's oh, quite wow. different from what whiskey you were expecting yeah. but like nonetheless not far at all from the name not at they all they call it a masala whiskey for a reason exactly and it is what they called it it is exactly that guys they've done justice to the name there's they've so much dance done. on their tongue mm -hmm. uh, with the whiskey all the spices are coming out quite well yeah and they, as i said they've done justice to the name it is spice infused and just like the nose was dialed in the flavors are very nice they're very mild none of them are overpowering nobody's trying to taste uh, take the center stage yeah. they're well balanced and what did you get on the taste the cardamom green cardamom mm. right away the first first taste is green cardamom yeah. and and to be honest i'm i'm, I'm pleasantly surprised cuz yeah. sometimes you, uh, the nosing does not uh, yeah you right. actually come out when yeah. you taste it the tongue is getting the full dance treatment exactly of, uh, good spicy kick out of it right? yeah as you mentioned like you want to use all facets of your tongue uh, to explore a whiskey yeah. this hits it home i'm getting that cardamom i'm getting the sweet uh, vanilla that undertone of the star anise i'm getting that uh, burn from the vapors or the like this is 43% abv it's got to have a light kick to it the the color is a little lighter than what we are used to with yeah. the rice and it depends on what kind of barrels you have matured the whiskey in and very how brilliant much time point it got into it so as i said it's a brand new whiskey they've created a blended whiskey using a 3 year old corn whiskey and a 4 year old rye whiskey i like what this whiskey does to the tongue yeah cuz it's very scintillating right yeah right. right after you take the sip and it sits on your tongue and and that long finish yeah this stickiness of the whiskey had given some implications that it would be a long finish whiskey and yeah. it is a long finish whiskey i would say medium to long medium to medium long, to long right? yeah. it, it could have been longer yeah but the dance of flavors on the tongue yeah are very very uh they are warm yes and they are pleasant these are like nice toasted spices that's yes. what it is it's nicely toasted it's beautiful very it's like fragrant masala chai, aromatic guys like exactly. if you know anything about it it definitely will do really yes. well in cocktails cuz if if you know how to play with flavor oh yeah this thing has flavor in abundance exactly it can play around in cocktail whiskey so nicely so nicely yeah, yeah and it is. it is up to your imagination and your creativity how you balance these flavors they're very delicate very nuanced and believe me with lavender with a little bit of ginger beer some mint i think you can accentuate these flavors I'm even more you know this it is I'm, i'm i'm loving it already <laughs> right guys so this is the new kid on the block exactly uh, let me let let me go ahead i'm i'm going to read something off the back of the label Please. so masala whiskey a masala whiskey has been delicately crafted with robust flavors of corn rye infused with essence of roasted coriander seeds oh. and cardamom indulge in harmonious symphony of aroma that dances from your glass as the rich notes of spice and warmth transport you to the elegant and vibrant regions of south asia as claimed gentlemen the bottle looks really nice very nice i, I think the packing is on point yes There's the new kid on the block i love the packing with the south asian and this is very unique the, the the shape of the bottle yes it's thick quality glasses quality materials the quality of the blend the quality of spices it shines through i think this is going to give a solid competition absolutely. and i want for the money absolutely but know that this is for the people who love a little bit of spice you yes. know they love the little bit of peppery burn on their yeah, tongue yeah. that leaves behind a little bit of a absolutely dance. and I think these guys have been successful in doing so. So without any further ado, let's try it. Let's try it. Yeah, yes, yeah, 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 and let's check at it. Exactly. Oh yes. Oh. Oh yes. Oh wow. Complete justice to the name. Oh yeah. I'm still salivating. It's <laughs> so good. It's really good. And you know what? You were right. With a little bit of ice, the whiskey cooled down. 
it enhances the flavors even more. It is open up. Yeah. That that's what you expect from a whiskey. Sometimes some whiskies are sipping whiskies you would like to drink only neat. Yeah. But with the nature of the whiskey, which yeah. is a little bit of spiciness. Yeah. Once it goes on an ice bath, this mellows down and yeah. what, a, what a great presentation. Oh man. It comes out really nicely and I say its spears have a little bit of a competition coming Absolutely. Up right now. Drinking whiskey is like you can you can have one favorite but you dabble in everything. Exactly. And and when you're dabbling through things and yeah. like this will be kind of a very pleasant surprise, yes. right? Yes. I we promise. Yeah. You will be surprised. And pleasantly surprised with this. It's, it's good. very good. It's good. I, I don't say it's for everyone, but whoever liked that a bit of spicy notes in your whiskey, I think this will pleasantly surprise you. Yeah, just like Sherry Cask. Yes, of course. I am okay with them. He does not like them. He does not like Sherry Cask. And life is such. <laughs> yes. And this, I agree with you. It is a bit of a quiet taste. Yes, being South Asian men, we are very used to these flavors. We are enjoying. We're very thrilled about it. Yes. But if you are a bartender, if you are someone who loves whiskey, Correct. if you are an enthusiast, if you're just curious, you're missing out if you don't try it. You should. Yeah, you, you your, your experience self. is not complete without it. Elevate cocktail your cocktail size. game, elevate oh your God. parties. This is a must have in your bar. It is simple, it is classic, it is delicate, it is complex. Yes. It is all of the above. It hits every facet of your fascination. You want a well rounded whiskey, you've got it. So, bye. Time for, for some time scores. For a score. I'm loving this. I'm going to have another sip. And I think he's going to do that same. And we'll score this. That's going to be down to 75. Gentlemen, that's a very, very good score. I agree. For a whiskey at this price range. Yeah. That, that's a genuine, genuinely good score uh, for a new whiskey. Yeah. I'm up. I'm very excited to see what's next from this brand. Exactly. Guys. And as we said, this is a new brand. This is the first product they're launching and they've hit it out of the park. Absolutely. This is a home run. This smashed it out of the park. And my score is not going to be too off. Yeah. I'm going to give it just a smidge more. Okay. Just a smidge more. I'm going to say it's a 76 for me. Oh, sorry. Yeah, that's very yeah. close, right? I just love the fact that, like, you know, I had a sip. And a cocktail recipe popped in my head. Yes, I am exactly very that. excited about it. I want to wrap this video. I want to finish this shot, make my masala chai, and have it by the fireplace, or even in my backyard on a hot sunny. Oh day. yes, with a barbecue. Ooh, Ooh nice. Yes. yes. Cheers, guys. We'll see you in the next one. And cocktails, barbecues, this whiskey. It's a symphony. Summertime. Exactly. See you guys in the next one. Bye bye. Bye bye.